Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see turning radius and what is the importance of that. This is also one of the geometric standards of the taxiway, which we are uh, discussing in this particular lecture. So a horizontal curve is to be provided whenever there is a change in the direction of the taxiway, right? For example, let us say this is a taxiway what I have. Let me do it here. This is a taxiway one number, right? And now you have to give a curve here, right? You have to go in this direction. Then what I'm supposed to do? I'm going to give a curve something like this, right? So this is a curve what I'm going to do. So it is necessary to design a curve in such a way that the aircraft can negotiate it without significantly reducing the speed. Of course, whenever, even when we take a ride with the help of, uh, when, uh, with a bike, whenever there is a curve and all, what we try to do, we try to reduce the speed a bit and then we manage to take up this curve, isn't it? The same it's trying to tell us. It is necessary to design the curve in such a way that the aircraft can negotiate it without the significantly reducing the speed. For this purpose, the circular curve of a large radius is most suitable, right? The circular curve of a large radius from here to here, this radius what you have, no? this radius will be large. And its radius can be obtained by the following formula. So what is the formula? You can see the same figure here as well. Whatever I have drawn, if it is not clear, you can see it here. This is one path, this is another path. I want to change the direction. So what I have given, I have given a curve in this way. And the radius from here to here, this should be so big that the aircraft will take a turn here without significantly reducing the speed of it. Yeah. And the formula given is that R is equal to V square divided by 125 F, where R is a radius of curve in meter. V is the speed of an aircraft in kilometer per hour and F is the coefficient of friction between the tire and the pavement surface. And usually we take it as 0.13. Now, one thing we need to understand for the airports serving large subsonic jet planes, the minimum values of radius of curvature, right, is taken as 120 meter. It's a minimum irrespective of the speed. And for supersonic jet planes, the minimum radius of 180 meter is recommended. Even though after using this formula, if you're not getting answer greater than 180 meter, then it says that minimum you have to take 180 meter for a supersonic jet and minimum 120 meter for subsonic jet planes, right? Yeah. Now, along with that, we need to understand one more thing. So. According to Horon Jeff, the radius of curve should be said that a minimum distance of six meters is maintained between the nearby main gear and the edge of the pavement. The Horon Jeff equation is given by here to find the radius of the center of the taxiway. That is, see, if this is a taxiway for me, if this is a taxiway, let us consider this is a center line, isn't it? So the radius of the center line of the taxiway, that is R, this R. How do you find that? That is given with the help of this Horon Jeff formula, right? So R is equal to 0 0.33, 0 0.388 W squared divided by 0 0.5 T minus S. So we'll try to understand this in this way. Let us consider this is a runway. This is a taxiway what I have, and this is an aircraft what I have, right? So it says that this two wheels what you can see here, no? this we call this as nose gears, and the one which is at the backside we call it as a main gear. so according to this statement the the radius of a curve should be said that a minimum distance of six meter that is a minimum distance of six meter is maintained between the nearby gear so nearby main gear is this one right this is a main gear to the edge of the pavement this is a pavement to from here to here a minimum of six meter has to be given and along with that r is equal to this formula we try to use where R is the radius of the center line of the taxiway in meter, v is, W is the wheelbase of an aircraft, T is the width of the taxiway pavement in meter, and S is the distance between the point midway of a main gear and the edge of the taxiway pavement. So with the help of this formula, we can find the radius. And whichever is lesser out of the first one and the second one, this and this, we have to consider that. So with this understanding, we'll try to solve one problem and we'll try to understand that. So here we have uh, something called as wheelbase of an aircraft, right? So what is that wheelbase? See, one and two, these are my backside view, or let us say this is a main gear, this and this, and this is a nose gear. So the distance between the main gear and the nose gear, that distance what we have, we call that as a wheelbase of an aircraft. 
right so this understanding is required when we try to solve the problems now we'll start with the problem for this yeah so here the question goes in this way determine the turning radius of a taxiway for a supersonic transport aircraft with a wheel base of 30 meter and the thread of a main loading gear has 6 meter for a design turning speed of 60 50 km per hour assume a coefficient of friction between the tire and the pavement to 0.13 and the width of the taxiway pavement is 22.5 meter right so once these things are given write down whatever is given so the wheel base is given w is equal to 30 meter and the wheel thread is given as 6 meter and the speed is given as 50 km per hour and the width of the taxiway payment is t is equal to 22.5 so if i go back here the t is the width of the taxiway payment in meter and here the payment it's given here the width of the taxiway payment is 22.5 which is actually capital t given here the wheel base of an aircraft in meter that is w wheel base this is a distance from here to here so what is the wheel base given here the wheel base of 30 meter is given that is a distance from the main gear from the main gear to the nose gear it is 30 meter <laughs> yeah so first this is the formula we need to apply r is equal to v square divided by 125 into f which is equal to v is the speed given which is 50 square divided by 125 into f f is the friction which is 0 0.13 try to apply this formula we are going to get 153.85 meter now applying the horon jeff's equation r is equal to 0 0.388 w square divided by 0 0.5 t minus s which is given here so in this where r is the radius of the center line of a taxiway in meter this is what we are supposed to find the same thing is here where W is the wheel base of aircraft, which is given here, wheel base of 30 meter. So 30, I'll, write, I'll be writing it here. And T is the width of the taxiway payment. It is written here, width of a taxiway payment is 22.5 meter. And S is the distance between the point midway of a main gear and the edge of the taxiway payment. So how do you understand this? S is the distance between the midpoint of the main gear and the taxiway of a payment. So this formula S is equal to WT divided by 2 because since it's a midpoint, it's telling us from here to here, it is a midpoint from here it's a midpoint from here to here it is telling us wt by 2 plus 6 so this is a formula that we need to understand plus 6 is a in the formula itself so if you try to apply this 6 or you can write wt by 2 where wt is given here wheel thread of 6 meter so this is a wheel thread what we have from here to here so it is 6 divided by 2 and plus 6 so if you do that, 6 divided by 2, 2 1s are 2 3s are 6 plus 3 is 9. So it comes out to be 9 meter. Now substitute R is equal to 0 0.38, it is constant into W. W we are getting 30 square divided by 0 0.5 into T. Capital T we are getting 22.5 minus 9 if we try to do, we are getting 155.2 meter. Now out of this, whichever is maximum that we need to consider out of 153 and 155, 155 is maximum. But if you, if you go back, it is told that if I go back, yeah, for airport serving large subsonic jet planes, the minimum value of radius of curvature is taken 120 irrespective of the speed. And for supersonic, it has to be 180 meter, right? So it is minimum what they're telling. But answer what we have got for a supersonic, the answer what we have got, even it is less than 180 meter. Hence, what we need to do, we, we cannot take 153 or 155, but instead the minimum that is given is 180. Therefore, the absolute minimum turning radius for a supersonic aircraft, irrespective of any speed, is to, is to be taken as 180 meter. Right? So, adopting the highest value of the three cases, that is 153, 155 and 180, the turning radius of a taxiway to be actually provided will be 180 meter. Similarly, we will try to solve another problem which is of similar kind. 
determine the radius of a taxiway for a supersonic aircraft to negotiate a curve at a turning speed of 60 km per hour speed is given the wheel base is given that is 30 meter that is w and the wheel thread is 7.2 meter which is the formula we have 6 plus wheel thread divided by 2 and the airport is of b type as per icao right now as in the case of the problem one first what we need to do we need to find r r is equal to v square divided by 125 f where v is 60 the speed is given here divided by 125 into f f is 0.13 because it's a constant coefficient of friction so if you do that it comes out to be 221.54 meter now applying r is equal to 0 0.38 w square divided by 0 0.5 t minus s w is given as 30 meter that is a wheel base and t is 22.5 and then we need to find s so for the s we have formula that is wheel thread divided by 2 plus 6 is what we have to do plus 6 it is written here plus wheel thread it is given as 7.2 meter therefore 7.2 if you try to do this it comes out to be 9.6 meter therefore substituting this r is equal to 0 0.388 into w is 30 square divided by 0 0.5 into t t is given as 22.5 minus 9.6 we get from here if you try to do this you are getting 211 and 221 so out of this the highest one is 221 now whatever answer we are getting we have to make sure that it is greater than the minimum that is prescribed so the absolute minimum rate turning radius for a supersonic aircraft irrespective of any speed is 180 meter this much minimum we have to provide but the answer what we got that is 221 it is greater than 180 therefore adopting the highest value of the three cases that is this is case one this is case two and let us say this is case three or you can consider this as one two and three mentioned above the turning radius of a taxi will be which one 221 since it is greater compared to all the other two right so we are going to provide 221.54 meter let us say 222 meter as a radius of the taxi bay. so in this way uh, these are the very simple problems what they try to ask we need to do the solution in this way so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you